All right, let's do this. Finally, you've asked me, put your stuff online for all my Canadian friends and for my Italian friends. Just try decoding my language now. So tonight I want to start with something really, really simple. It's uh, eggplants, okay? For all my Canadian friends, especially the ones that don't have Italian backgrounds, you said throw in some Italian language so we can learn. So eggplants in Italian are called melanzane. That's plural. Melanzana is one, but my Italian sucks. So look it up, okay? So tonight, I'm getting ready for dinner. It's seven o'clock, that's a rarity because most Italians don't eat at this time, all right? Uh, but we eat nice and early. So tonight we're gonna make melanzani made my way, okay? So check it out. I've chopped up, not too thin, okay? Two eggplants. All right, I put them on a cookie sheet. For my Italian friends, <laughs> cookie sheet is the, how do you say cookie sheet in Italian? Um, je ne sais pas. Okay, so what you do, I don't know if this will work, but I'll show you. You're just gonna line your eggplants with magic. This is called extra virgin olive oil, made by a friend who brought his olives to a place where you get them grinded called a frantoio, okay? There you go. And you pour that liquid gold over slightly, like just a, a line, un filo we say in Italian, okay? Over your eggplants. Now eggplants will leak, like they will give out some water. I don't know if I'm using the culinary terms correctly. As you know, I have zero background in culinary arts. So it should look something like that, okay? Then you're gonna use some salt. This is Himalayan salt. I use it because it's just pretty, okay? And it's supposed to be good for you. Just sprinkle a little bit of your eggplants with some of that Himalayan salt or regular salt will do, okay? And that you're setting your eggplants now, okay? You've set the base. There you are. Okay, good. Now, I top them. So these are called pacchino. No, sorry, datterini. So they're, okay, not to, oh wow, that was a good drip. Not to be cute, uh, confused with the fruit, okay? These are, uh, I think they're called dates also in Italian. It's a type of uh, nice and hard, small, kind of oval-like, sweet, sweet tomato, okay? And it works wonders for any recipe, okay? So basically now I'm just gonna start layering my eggplant with my tomatoes, okay? So I do that, I'll show you the end result, okay. Now, another thing I wanna talk about is in the kitchen. Why I never let anyone in the kitchen except one of my closest and bestest friends, Pina Luberto, why? Because a lot of people are gross in the kitchen. They don't wash their hands, they don't tie their hair. I do both, maybe 1,000 times. Those who know me know that I have snake hands. They're always, always, under the sink and my hair always always gets tied up in my kitchen no matter what even though I look like a monster I don't care because there's rarely seldomly food with hair in it at my house mmm sounds good huh I serve at all times I try hairless food okay and that's very important guys hygiene is a must especially in the kitchen especially when you have guests all right so hair up, hands washed, and start creating your magic. Doesn't take much, takes passion. Yeah, I love you Rod Stewart. Okay, there we go. Okay, so look what happens. And I always have a little sink full of water so I can throw in my dirty dishes as I go along to wash them. ta There's my eggplants in Italian, melanzane. There you go. Okay, look good, right? Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to continue by placing again a little, little layer of oil. Keep in mind, they're going to lose a little bit of water during cooking, so don't exaggerate with the oil. One, because there's no need to, and two, because this shit is expensive. Okay, good. Next, notice I don't put my fingers in my mouth while I'm cooking like a lot of famous chefs and people. That's just gross. Okay, next. All right, we love onions. These are, for, mo 
most of you that are Italo Canadese and Italian, it's just a must. These are tropea onions. Okay, why are they called tropea onions? Because they come from Calabria in a place uh, called tropea. Okay, and they're just divine. They're uh, very oniony flavored, but is that even English? But, but they're very, very mild and very, very sweet. They're delicious. Hard to come by probably in Canada, but here they're everywhere. Okay, and you gotta be careful because some people try selling you uh, tropea onion for red onions. So you just gotta know your produce, okay? Aurelien, uh, comment ça va? You're watching me, I'm so embarrassed. You're a professional, get out of here. Okay, we got it. Am I doing okay, Aurelien? Am I doing okay? Should I break into my French? It goes as far as uh, comment ça va? Uh, voulez-vous, voulez-vous, voulez-vous danser? Is that good? Okay. All right, guys. So don't be afraid. Onions are our friends. Okay. So it's going to look something like that. All right. And I used for this two tropea onions. Worst case scenario, if you can't get a hold of them in Canada, use a, a sweet onion. Okay. So here we are. It's looking like this. All right. Oh, we lost a piece. Okay, guys. All right, we're gonna continue layering, but between layers, a little, little, little bit of oil, okay? Now, you notice I've been putting oil, but I only put salt on the first layer, right? Okay, look how thin that oil is coming out. Okay, I'll, I'll take a picture of the end result when I'm done. Okay, all right. Now, I'm gonna wanna put some salt because it's, it's gonna seep in there and you're not gonna get salt on the rest of it, okay? So, just over there like that. And shall we do a little bit 1990 Emerald Legacy? Bam! Oh my God, that's gonna have so much salt on that one. Okay, good. So now I've added my salt. Okay, so now these are what I call au gratin. Did I say it right, Aurelien? Okay, Aurelien. Uh, so I'm making them gratin. So to do a gratin, all you need are three ingredients. Breadcrumbs, parmigiano, and oil. What you usually do is you get your, now I'm very fancy. I use semolina breadcrumbs, okay? And 100% aged parmigiano, okay? You put your breadcrumbs into your parmigiano and drizzle some oil. Stir it up and that's gonna give you like a nice uh, sandy kind of, sandy kind of uh, uh, texture and you can pour it over. But I like to make my life difficult, as you all know, and I just do two layers. So, my first layer, I put parmigiano all over my eggplants. Trying to keep it on the actual food and not on the pan, because then it'll start to smell like parmigiano burning in your oven, okay? So, keep it together, pour it on, right? Okay. There we go. I'm good with my breadcrumbs. Trying to keep it contained, but it doesn't always work, huh? Okay. Okay, we're good. That's the breadcrumbs, okay? Uh, at this point, we don't need any more salt. Sorry, that was the parmigiano. We don't need any more salt. Now, for example, I don't know if you can see this. This is something that it's very rare to find in Canada. It's called mozzarella di bufala. Okay, it's a buffalo uh, cheese. Uh, buffalo being a small animal like a cow, buffalo cow. And don't think buffalo like the uh, African lion safari buffaloes, okay? Now, uh, those kind of cheeses, mozzarella, bocconcini, um, eh, mozzarella di bufala, they uh, exhume a lot of milk, okay? For example, I had this one out for a while and, okay, that's not gonna make for good cooking, okay? You don't cook with these cheeses for a few reasons. One, because they're very expensive, and two, because they, they release a lot of water. So if you're gonna use a cheese that you want to stay compact and not make your dish watery, I would resort to a fior di latte, it's called. In Canada, you can get it, fior di latte, always a type of mozzarella, right? Okay, um, in this case, this one was about to go off. I don't wanna waste it, I drained it, and it's dripping nicely, Allegra loves it, so I'm gonna throw it on uh, one of my um, eggplants. How do we say eggplant in Italian? 
melanzana, okay? And melanzane for uh, plural, okay? So here we go. Maybe more than one, because you don't want a lot on that bad boy, okay? So let's pick maybe the biggest ones, because this way they can hold maybe a little bit more water. All right. Okay. Okay. All right, that, done. Bye-bye. Wipe your surface. Okay. Now, I um, pretend those eggplants. So just go on top of now the ones that you put that melon, that uh, bo mozzarella di bufala on and just give it another layer, another hit. Okay. Now, next, let's start with our breadcrumbs. These are yellow because they're from Semola. Semolina, okay? And they're delicious. And the make that I buy, oh wow, I just touched my sweat. One second while I wash my hands. So the reason why they are yellow, and by the way, shout out to my putty for buying me this in the center of Rome. I know I love it. And it makes me look a little bit more skinny, right? Right, thanks, Pat. Keep them coming. Anyway, um, and the reason why they're yellow is because of the type of flour that's being used. And they're, uh, they absorb a lot of oil, okay? So they're really fun. And they make your things crunchy. Crunchy in Italian, croccante, okay? So this makes it croccante. So let's go with putting our breadcrumbs on our eggplants. I hope I'm not missing a step because then these are going to come out like garbage and then Allegra's going to complain. Yes, she does that. Spoiled little shit. I should have just stuck to buying her frozen stuff. Oh, speak of the devil. Hi, Allegra. Do you want to say hi to everybody? Hi. Hi. Okay, go away with that hair, please, mommy. I, you know okay, what? Okay, that's gonna take you. Don't you can, worry. okay, move back, bubs. Okay, and now before you stick it in the oven, like literally, do you guys see? You guys can't see how much that's coming down. You're probably saying, oh my god, this chick cooks with a lot of oil. Allegra, you need to move, mommy, because I'm a lefty and it's banging into my hand. Okay. And then give it another little hit with those breadcrumbs. Okay, but there's no right way or wrong way of doing this. Okay, a little bit of, because these don't have a lot of salt. All right. In the meantime, always, always, always preheat your oven. Okay, now I have, as you can see, beautiful oregano, uh, sorry, uh, basilico, which is basil in Italian, basil, English, basilico, Italian, uh, fresh basilico. I'm going to use that at the end. A lot of people use it incorrectly. Basil should never cook more than five minutes in a, in a sauce. Sauce in Italian, sugo, like your ragu sauce, okay? And um, it's very nice served raw because it stays fresh. The less you manipulate the herb, the better it is, okay? So at most, cut it um, uh, in half, okay? Chop it in half and that's it. Stop at that. I usually put my basil five minutes before these bad boys are cooked. And also because when it cooks, it turns black, it doesn't stay green, okay? So if you're serving them, I would top them at the end, garnish them with your basil. Otherwise, okay, just put some on if you wanna have, okay? So at the end of the day, it's gonna look something like this when your eggplant comes out of the oven, which I'll take a picture after because I'm not waiting for you guys for these to cook, we gotta eat. Um, it'll look something like this, okay? All right, and nice and green, and nice, and that's it. Okay, so your oven is going to be, uh, at the oven temperature Celsius Fahrenheit uh, is very different, obviously. So I put mine at 225, and that is, oh God, somebody help me, Celsius Fahrenheit. Whatever it is in Canada, it's half of that, okay? So if it's 225 here, you're not going to divide it right to the, to the decimal point there, but in and around, okay? So 230 becomes, what, 115? Yeah, uh, and then I would do like 120, 125, you should be fine. This needs about 20 minutes. You'll know because the bottoms will start to brown, okay? You don't want them burnt, you just want them nice and browned. At the end, I would put on my grill on the top and you make everything just seep into that delicious flavor and get like a little bit of a crust forming, okay? Pull them out and serve them with a nice loaf of bread. Okay guys, all right. Talk to you soon. I'll be back with something else, okay? Ciao.